So there are still two pretty intense bugs that plague Red Dead Online inside the stables. We're talking about slot 10 red core bug and a bug that takes away your gold bar stats for your saddle. Howdy Cowpoke, Austin BMX here. Thanks for checking out today's video. If you're going to like this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Line content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, just good old fashioned fun. We are here today to talk about two bugs that have been in Red Dead Online for quite some time, and they have to do with the stables. The first one we're gonna look at, and one of the ones that is actually the worst, I believe, is the red core bug in your slot number 10. Now I haven't had this issue myself recently because I don't really have a horse in slot 10 for quite a while, but I recently purchased one of the new Mustangs and noticed that this horse had red cores inside the stables, no matter what. Anytime I pulled this horse out of the stables, it was drained in cores. I could feed it and then ride it around, no problem. But as soon as I loaded into some other series or loaded into, or even Fast traveled, I immediately had zero cores again. I thought maybe it was the actual horse problem, so I did what every player would do. I sent it to the glue factory. I purchased the horse again. Same problem. So I sent it to the glue factory. I then sent another horse I own that I didn't ride very much to the glue factory as well to open up slot number eight. I then rebought the same horse again. It now put it into slot eight. Horse is totally fine. So then I thought, okay, I'll buy another horse now for slot 10. And lo and behold, red course. So it looks like there's nothing you can do to fix this issue. And it has been plaguing the game for quite some time. This red core issue actually makes it so your horse in slot 10, one, will always have a very low core when you call it out. Two, no matter how much you feed it, as soon as you fast travel, you're back to low cores. And we found out that three, no matter what saddle or stirrups you put on this horse in this slot, even though inside the stable, it shows that it has the extra gold bars on the speed and acceleration, when you're out in free roam with it, they are not there. Now horses in Red Dead Online are like a staple of the game. They're like your, your companion. They're like your main mode of transportation. And although we have lots of stable slots to have many different horses, everyone actually wants even more slots to have more horses. And to have this slot number 10 issue is very frustrating. And now I have a thousand dollar Turkmen sit in this slot that I can't really use. Now this issue is quite widespread. I've heard a lot of people mention it throughout the months and even years I think I've read it online. I know a lot of people that don't have this issue with this slot. I know a lot of people that don't even have this many horses so they haven't ran into this issue at all. But if you have this issue, definitely hit that like button, comment down below so we can get to the bottom of it. The second issue we're gonna be talking about has to do with gold cores with your horse. Now we all get those from using horse meal. You do have to have the pamphlet from the fence. It's fantastic. You go to the stable, you buy beets, uh, hay, and I think you have to get some current and then it makes horse meal. Gives you gold cores for a whole day. Fantastic. Now, one cool thing about the stables is whatever you put your horse away with, it will keep as far as its cores go. That includes gold cores. Now, of course, that doesn't include your, your 10th stable slot if you uh, have the issue like we have. Let's just forget that one for now. But any other horse that I have in my stable, when I'm riding it around, if I switch horses, whatever that horse that I put away in the stable, whatever its cores are, that's what they will be when I pull it back out. Now, the best thing to do would be, hey, let me uh, give my horse gold cores so I can put it into the stable so it can take a little nap, you know, have a little sleep. Then whenever I need it and I pull it out, if it be that I want to switch out my horses or if my other horse dies or something happens and I need to quickly get another horse, when I pull my horse out, it will already have gold cores and be ready to go. I mean, that's the logical thing for it to work. Unfortunately, 
That's not what happens. If you put your horse away in the stable by pulling out a second horse, when that first horse has gold cores, yes, your horse will keep gold cores in the stables for as long as it's in there. Gold cores last one game day based on the time that the horse is in free roam. So if you put a horse away in the stable with gold cores for until next time you pull it out, its gold core timer will then start at that point from what's left. Your horse's cores do not deplenish when they're in the stable. The problem is there's a bug that if you put a horse away with gold cores, when you pull it back out, its saddle's broken. If we take a look at the horse that we just pulled out with gold cores that we just put away a little bit ago, it has gold cores still, but now the gold bars on its saddle for acceleration and speed are no longer there. And the only way to get this back is to let the gold cores run out. Fast traveling, loaded into another session, closing the game, re-pulling it back up, putting the horse back in the stable, switching saddles. Nothing will fix this until the, that horse's gold cores have deplenished. So that's what we did. I sat at camp for a whole game day, watched my horse's cores deplenish from gold back to normal, and lo and behold, my two gold bars for my saddle popped right back up. So that is two major bugs that have been plaguing Red Dead Online stables for quite some time. We have the 10th stable slot red core issue, and we also have the gold core issue when you put your horse away with gold cores. Both of these issues should definitely be top priority to get fixed, and they've been in the game for a long time. Of course, there's an easy way to get around the gold core one. Just don't put your horse away with gold cores. Although that feature in the game is there for a reason and it's nice to have your horse have gold cores when you pull it out. But there is no workaround for the stable 10 slot. If you have this issue, no matter what horse you have in that slot, it's just going to be bad cores all the time, no matter what. When you pull it out, it's going to be bad cores all the time, no matter what. Every time you fast travel, every time you load into a legendary mission, Anytime you get the blue clouds and you reload back on the free roam, your horse will have drain cores, no matter what it was beforehand. So let's make sure to get this word out so Rockstar knows that it's a big issue and we all want it fixed. Remember, if you're having any of these issues, make sure to smash that like button, comment down below letting us know. Hopefully someone will see this and they will say, hey, this is a major issue that needs fixed as soon as possible. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel for more Reddit on content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, just good old-fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime, but until then, see you later.